Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Catherine Basu, and I'm so excited for today's episode about the Houston Turkey Trot and want to encourage you to listen even if you don't have plans of spending Thanksgiving Day in Houston this year because I just have to share personally that turkey trots in general, I guess specifically the Manchester Road Race, which is a Thanksgiving Day road race held in Manchester, Connecticut, have a huge place in my heart because I credit them with getting me into fitness with having me want to pursue my personal training certification, career in fitness, starting my fitness company, Fit Armadillo, and now having this health and fitness podcast. All of that can be traced back to Thanksgiving holidays and starting out just being a spectator, being a kid watching the Manchester Road Race on Thanksgiving Day to years later participating. So I know you might not be in Houston this year, but I encourage you to sign up for a turkey trot no matter where you are. And if you're not going to sign up, maybe just go out there and cheer on your friends and family members who are participating because, like I said, speaking from personal experience, doing that changed things for me. I went from being a kid who hated gym class to someone who has made a career out of fitness. So I'm not saying that's going to happen to you if you're scared of that idea, but it might help you find your fitness motivation again or get excited about fitness. So I encourage you to be part of your Turkey Day race no matter where you are and you'll find out more about some of the reasons why that might be exciting through today's episode with Fred Goodall, the marketing director at Baker Ripley, which puts on the Houston Turkey Trot. One other thing I wanted to mention is that the reason I'm talking to you about the Houston Turkey Trot is not just because I have ties to Houston, Texas, which is where I started my fitness company, Fit Armadillo, and I lived for five years, but because I'm actually going to be in Houston for the Thanksgiving holiday and completing the Houston Turkey Trot right there with many of you listening, I hope, and definitely with one of my longtime clients, Meredith Rice, who I've just been admiring on her running journey from afar now because neither of us live in Texas anymore. And we keep talking about, as those of you who have been longtime listeners of the podcast, probably can recall from some of the episodes where I've had Meredith on the show that we we've been wanting to get together and run a race together and we're finally going to do that on Thanksgiving Day this year thanks to the Houston Turkey Trot which Meredith found for us so it would be awesome to see you out there as well to share more about the race itself we'll get to hear from my guest Fred Goodall the marketing director at Baker Ripley well welcome to the podcast Fred I'm so excited to have you as my guest today Hey, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So you work for Baker Ripley and you guys are putting on a turkey trot in Houston. Could you give us some of the the basics about the event and why we might want to sign up? Yeah, so uh, our uh, nonprofit agency, Baker Ripley, uh, we put on this turkey trot for 26 years now. Oh, wow. So for many people throughout this region, it's become a holiday tradition on Thanksgiving to go out and race before they stuff their faces with turkey and stuffing and all that. <laughs> so they don't feel so guilty later on uh, when they're eating so much. Sure. But it's always, it's always a very fun uh, opportunity for the family to come out, for individuals to come out, and for people to just come and uh, you know, spend a little time on Thanksgiving not only having fun and doing the race, but also giving back uh, to the cause of Baker Ripley uh, and, and the 500,000 people that we serve throughout this region every year. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to tell me more about what Baker Ripley does because I lived in Houston for five years, but <laughs> unfortunately I hadn't heard of you guys, so <laughs> I need some yeah. education. So Baker Ripley uh, has been in, uh, in this region, working in this region for more than 110 years. Oh. A lot of people may know us as our former name, uh, Neighborhood Centers. Uh, we changed our name a couple of years ago. Okay. Because we do much, although we do have uh, centers, neighborhood centers throughout the city uh, where people go and get different uh, programs and services, we offer a whole lot more uh, to the community. Mm-hmm. 
some of the programs and services that we offer the community are our immigration services. We offer early childhood education. We offer charter schools. We have senior services around dementia care, around uh, caregiver support. Uh, we have workforce development programs. We have uh, entrepreneurship programs, just many things to help people uh, to create the life that they've imagined and give them the tools that they are able to find the opportunities, seek the opportunities, and be prepared to take advantage of the opportunities that are out there. Oh, that's awesome. So the, the turkey trot, what role does that play in, in the fundraising? Like, is there a certain percentage that, that goes oh, toward? All, the, all of the proceeds go to <laughs> supporting yep. Baker Ripley. This is a race that we've been, like I said, we've been putting this race on for 26 years. Uh, and it's grown every year. And we're so appreciative to all the Houstonians and every people, everybody in the surrounding region who are coming out to support this race. Uh, it continues to grow. I mean, usually we get between know, 15 and 20,000 people coming out for the race. Uh, and that's the runners and the participants who just like to stand on the sideline and watch, which we appreciate as well. Uh, but we, we just love uh, that people come out and that people are dedicated to supporting Baker Ripley and dedicated just getting up on uh, Thanksgiving morning so early to come <laughs> out and race and have fun with us. Sure. And well, one thing I loved in looking at it because – I have to, you know, just mention that that's kind of the way I got started in fitness. I hated gym class growing up, but we used to go out and walk, watch, a, we used to watch You're a turkey right. trot in my, in my hometown. And I think, I think my dad was running it, you know, most of the years, but I just remember yeah. getting you know, hot, hot chocolate with my grandfather, but um, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. That, that community feel. And then that got me interested in running. Yes. It's, it's a huge community feel. Yeah. But I guess, you know, so for people to know, because I know sometimes people get intimidated by, oh, it's a race, but you guys have different options, you know, so they don't yes. think about it as very competitive, even though there's so many people going to be right. out. Could you share some of the options for signing up? Oh, certainly, certainly. So we have the Phillips 66 10K race, and this is specifically geared towards people who are competitive runners and they want to get sure. some times uh, maybe to qualify for a marathon later on or just to uh, beat their mm -hmm. own personal time because they like running. Uh, these are timed races. Hi, friends. It's Catherine. And if you are joining us and out for an out and back walk, but just have 15 minutes, that sound is your halfway point reminder. We are seven and a half minutes into the episode, so you'll want to turn around now. All right. Back to our conversation. So that, that one's available for really hardcore runners if they want it or people who want to just graduate us sure. to a 10K. Uh, we have the Phillips 66 5K, which is you can get a timed version of this as well. But it's much more family oriented, and much more casual and laid back. Some people run it. Some people walk it. I just talked to a friend of mine. This will be her first 5K race. And she, she said to us, you know, I hate exercising. I don't like to get up and do things. I'm a couch potato, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to walk it. I'm not going to run it. I'm going to walk it, but I'm going to get to the finish line. So she's just motivating herself to get out and do this because she's, it's just something she wants to do yeah. for herself. But a lot of people come out and walk. Uh, families are walking it together. All age groups are, are walking and running. So it's for everybody. It's open for everybody. And we also have a kids race, which is about a 1K. Okay. So kids can have their own race uh, by themselves. And, and it's always so fun to watch the kids run the race. <laughs> you now some of the older kids are a little more competitive, but it's just watching the little younger kids just have fun <laughs> and running the race and compete. Uh, so so that's, a, that's a great activity for Very the kids. Cool. In addition, if you don't want to run at all or do anything or even leave your house, <laughs> we have a sleep-in okay. version. So you can just pay for the registration and just roll over and uh, get a few more <laughs> hours of sleep and not worrying about running Be at all. Be there in spirit. <laughs> so that's another option that we have. Okay, Be there in cool. spirit. So just register, pick the sleep in option, and enjoy your day without having to come out and uh, participate. In <laughs> I, I love that. Well, that's really cool. So lots of great, great ways <laughs> to give back, some options for, for being active, even yeah, if, if people, you know, aren't, aren't feeling particularly competitive on that, on that given day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and after the race, and we have our uh, post-race mm -hmm. area, 
where we play music, there's free food, uh, there's free drinks, uh, there's games to play, there's a lot of uh, our sponsors are out there uh, with different things going on. So that time after the race is also mm-hmm. really fun. So after you're done, you can relax and uh, take a break and have a little fun with your family and all the other participants around. It's, it's really high energy and, uh, and a lot of good things to do. So I think everyone really enjoys that part of the race as well. Awesome. So I have to admit, I'm not proud to admit it, but I haven't actually signed up just yet. I'm going to do it today. You haven't signed up yet? (laughs) Well, I have a client who found the race for me, and I'm all excited to run that with her. We both don't live in Houston anymore, but are visiting family this year, which that'll be fun to run that together. But I'm trying to get my family signed up. So for those of us who are stragglers, can you give us some sense of urgency? What's the cutoff date? Are there a number of people that you'll stop at or... A certain date we need to be signed up by as we get closer to the race the prices will continue to increase okay and the highest price will be on race day mm-hmm. so uh you don't want to wait that long to uh, <laughs> sign up for the race so my recommendation is to sign up today immediately go to houston turkey org and sign up for the race uh so you can get the best pricing uh while you can so uh, just just go ahead and do that. HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. Sign up today. Tell all your friends to sign up. Pass on the link to everybody you know so uh, we can get all of Houston out there on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, I love that. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need to know. There, so when we register, if we're from out of town, is there a place to p- pick up like a packet before or, or are we picking everything up at, on race day? Or how does, how does that work? Well, we, we will have packet pickups starting on November 17th. Okay. So after you uh, register, you'll get that packet pickup information. But the packet pickup will be at Sun and Ski Sports mm-hmm. on Westheimer starting on November 17th. Okay. And as I said, the, when you sign up, you will get that information in the uh, confirmation email that you will get. But it will be at Sun and Ski Sports. So that's a good partner. That's close to the race. And by the way, the race will be in the Galleria area. Mm-hmm. Last year, we had to change the race course because of the, of the construction going on over at the Galleria. But oh, now sure. it's back to the original location uh, over by Dillard's in the Galleria. So uh, we're, we're back to that spot. And I think a lot of people prefer that spot than the one we had last year. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just come out and, and enjoy that. Awesome. Well, I'm I'm definitely excited. Okay, you, you have me like ready to go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sign up and do it. You know, the family <laughs> may have to be sign cheering. up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you gonna be out there running or, or cheering or? Oh, I'll be out there very early in the morning, getting everything <laughs> set up, and uh, I'll actually be on the stage. Uh, you know, getting all of our MCs and speakers prepped and uh, ready to talk about the race, but. When you run by the stage, I'll be there, so wave at me. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'll be waving at you, too. <laughs> well, I really appreciate that, Fred. And um, any, I mean, anything else that we should know before, you know, obviously we want to go sign up, but anything, anything else that before we... Uh, yeah, if you, if you go to uh, HoustonTurkeyTribe.org, you can mm-hmm. sign up for our emails, and we are constantly sending information about the race. Uh, some race day tips, some training tips, uh, some motivational uh, messages to get you uh, encouraged to come on out. You can also uh, go to our social media pages, uh, use the Turkey Trot on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. So we're constantly posting new content there. Uh, and on race day, you know, one of the most fun things about race day is watching the people who are really, really invested and they wear costumes, very <laughs> elaborate costumes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I always look forward to seeing how people will dress out. And they go all out with the costumes, <laughs> from pilgrims to turkeys to whatever else they decide to do. I've seen all kinds of things. <laughs> so if you want to start making your costume for Turkey Trot, uh, go ahead and get started on that as well, because we want to see those costumes. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, like as, as a kid, that was like one of the things that made it seem cool. I'm like, I want to <laughs> run in this race. You know, like, there's all this, you know, so I think it's... it's can inspire the little ones maybe you know <laughs> yes <laughs> yes definitely awesome well i really appreciate you taking the time and i guess too for for people interested in learning more about baker ripley i can leave all the links in the show notes but anything else that you guys have going on you know maybe coming up after the turkey trot ways for people to get involved and in helping the community too oh yes definitely uh even for turkey trot there is still time to sign up as a volunteer oh, okay. 
for Turkey Trot. So we do need a lot of volunteers. As I said, we have about 15,000 people mm-hmm. coming out. So that takes a lot of volunteers to help us get everything organized and sure. coordinated. So you can go to HoustonTurkeyTrot.org and sign up as a volunteer. But also for Baker Ripley, uh, throughout the year we have many, many volunteer opportunities. Uh, you can go to BakerRipley.org, find out more about our agency and what we do. And if you're inclined to volunteer, you can go ahead and sign up there too. Uh, but we we really want to uh, people to know what we do because we believe that the work that we do uh, just continues to impact this people's lives and makes this region so much stronger. Uh, because we want everybody to have opportunities and have opportunities available to them. And sometimes people don't know about uh, what's available, so huh? we help guide them. We we give them the skills they need. Uh, and, and people really want to uh, improve their lives, and we, we try to give them the tools to do that. Uh, and, and that's really the mission of our agency. You know, we want to be a welcoming place of opportunity for everybody where everyone can have access to opportunity. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad I got to learn more about Baker Ripley myself and excited to, uh, to see you out there for the, for the race on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> yes, yes. Sign up right now. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you so much, Fred. Okay, thank you. Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time. Hi, friends. It's Catherine. I hope this episode has inspired you to sign up for a turkey trot near you. If you're in Houston, make sure you sign up for the Houston Turkey Trot. I just signed up and I put down a running club team name of Fit Armadillo, which is my fitness company, F-I-T space A-R-M-A-D-I-L-L-O. So if you want to sign up and join us under the team name, I would love to see how many people we can get signed up. Maybe I'll even do a little special something for team members. Who knows? Hope to see you there. And like I said, make sure that you sign up for that turkey trot or at least watch it no matter where you are and tag us in your pictures on Thanksgiving. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Since this episode is going out on a Friday, there won't be a new episode tomorrow or Sunday. But if you subscribe, you will get to get more inspiration again on Monday. And I have some running focused guests coming up. So if you need some running motivation to take you through the training for your turkey trot, that should help you out. Finally, I didn't want to forget to remind you to go to the show notes for today's episode, but also some of the previous episodes this week where guests have shared discounts on several awesome items of theirs, including running planners and fitness apps that can help you track your goals, whether you are a runner or not. So don't miss out on that. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you subscribe, I will chat with you on Monday. Bye.